This system hasn't worked in over a year and the last company that touched it ghosts the homeowner entirely. And after a ton of back and forth testing and talking to the manufacturer, we're going to replace this outdoor unit under warranty. Back in 2019, this unit was purchased to help condition a garage and stairwell area in this detached guest house. It did its job up until Hurricane Ida in 2021. Something happened in the area with the utility power and the unit took a hit. The homeowner didn't mess with the unit after the storm since we had a lot to deal with at the time and a mini split was not at the top of the list. Spring 2022 rolls around and with only a few weeks until the summer heat wave, a call was put into a local Daikin dealer. They came out and said the control board needed to be replaced. Fair enough, controls don't like voltage issues. They ordered a new board and scheduled to replace it. Two months roll by and they finally come out to swap the boards. After tearing the unit half apart, replacing the board and and putting it all back together, the worst situation imaginable happens. The moment power was restored back to the unit, the board let all the smoke out. Multiple burn spots appeared, meaning this control board didn't stand a chance. Other components were bad and needed to be replaced, but that's when the unbelievable happened. The technician just packed up and left. According to the homeowner, the technician told him that the unit had multiple issues and they needed to call tech support to figure out everything that needed to be replaced. But they couldn't call them at this moment because they were busy with service calls. They asked if it was okay to come back after the summer when they didn't have as many calls and actually had time to call tech support. The homeowner said, sure, no problem. That's not a living space, so it can wait. November 2022 rolls around and the homeowner calls that company to see if they forgot about him. They claimed they hadn't forgot about him, but they couldn't get anyone out there until after Thanksgiving. The homeowner said no problem and hung up. The week after Thanksgiving shows up and there's no call from the company. The homeowner calls a company, but there's no answer. This went on for a couple of days. The company just didn't answer the phone for the homeowner, basically saying they didn't want to deal with that unit anymore. Not cool, man. If you're going to start a business and advertise to the world that you can fix AC systems, you better be able to back up that claim. If you were in it for just sales, word will spread about your dishonest practices and it will become very difficult to climb out that hole. Here's where I come in. As another local Daikin dealer, we were asked to come and take a look and see what it would take to get this system fixed. I took off all the panels and called tech support to start checking all of the components and make a list of the parts that needed to be replaced. Of course, the control board needed to be replaced, but I needed to find what took it out. They don't just go bad on their own. With help from tech support, we found a bad fan motor, stepper motor, and a bad thermistor. We ordered all the parts and scheduled the repair. It took some time, but I got it back up and running, and this time I decided it was a good idea to add a surge protector. Sensitive components get taken out all the time due to overcurrent situations. The homeowner was happy his unit was finally running, and that was supposed to be that. Then I got the call. Two days later, the unit was out again. I drove all the way out there and pulled the unit back apart. Sure enough, there were burn spots on the control board. I called tech support and told them what happened. We tested everything, and it turns out the new fan motor I installed died and took the control board with it. I admit, I got a little heated over the phone wondering how we could have replaced a bad component with a bad component. This was not looking good for anyone. Eventually, we got the manufacturer to give us a full unit replacement, so I am back out here to get rid of this problem unit and the customer couldn't be happier. The change out was pretty straightforward. Just hook up the copper, electrical, pull a vacuum, and charge to the manufacturer's specifications. Here's where it gets interesting. We decided it would be best to remove the basic surge protector and install a voltage monitoring device. This device gives me the ability to set a high and low cutoff in case the line voltage gets too high. We actually got the utility company to come out and check all the connections to make sure we weren't going to have any problems in the future. And it has actually been two weeks since this changeout was completed and we haven't had any issues with the system. The customer is super happy and so are we. Hopefully people can learn from this situation and treat customers like they are family. Take care of them and they will remember you the next time they have an issue. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments. I'll see y'all in the next one.